Hey, Mike and Melissa. I'm James from beautiful Rickman, Tennessee. Welcome to another episode of Outdoors with the Morgans. Mike, I just want to say thank you because we're new to this 140 acres here and you've helped me a great deal. If you like this video, don't forget to hit subscribe, hit the like button, comment below. Thanks for watching. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is a beautiful springtime day here in Pennsylvania. And today, we're gonna do some springtime yard work. You know, getting the lawn ready to start mowing, trying to get it in shape for summertime. And uh, by the way, today's video is sponsored by Xmark, makers of professional grade mowers. So the first thing I like to do in the springtime, actually early spring, long before you need it, I like to go over the mower, make sure everything's good to go on it, that the blades are sharp, you know, that everything runs right, everything's ready to go. I like to do that at least a month before I need to start mowing. That's number one. The second thing we have to do to get the lawn in shape first thing in the spring is just clean it up. Uh, this section of lawn right here behind me, there's really not a lot of trees right here. I mean, there are off to the side, but the main area up by the house, we have tons of trees. We've got oaks, cherry, maple, some walnut. We have Chinese chestnut, shagbark hickory down by the road. And the trees are beautiful. We really like them, but they are messy. Uh, each winter, they drop limbs. You still have remnants of the nuts that fell from the fall before. And there's still some leaves that are packed down. So we'll spend a good period of time, you know, sometimes an entire day just cleaning up the lawn, raking sticks. We use the leaf blower, try to get all that debris out of the lawn to kind of help let it breathe a little bit. And uh, it's just a good idea. You know, if there's a stick laying there or packed down leaves, obviously grass isn't going to grow in that spot. So that's the second thing we like to do is get the whole lawn cleaned up, get all the debris out of there and let it to be able to start growing. So after the mower is all checked out and it's ready to go, and after we do our entire yard cleanup, getting rid of all the debris, sticks, leaves, all that stuff, the next thing I like to do is patch any bare spots in the lawn. You know, big bare spots. And normally what I do to do that, I just get a little bit of topsoil, a little bit of seed, keep it watered. Normally this time of year, it's not a problem in Pennsylvania keeping it watered. And that'll start to grow. All right, so that's the third thing I like to do. Get the bare spots patched up. Now the fourth thing, uh, this is where I think I have my most luck in having a decent lawn. And when I say a decent lawn, you know, we don't live in a housing plan. You've got all these woods all around us. There's all types of weed seeds. Uh, it's not going to be a perfect manicured lawn, but I'm okay with that. That's not what I'm after. I just want something that grows kind of uniform, looks nice, and uh, it's easy to maintain. But after I take care of those three, what I like to do is overseed uh, specific areas. Normally up by the house where we have lots of shade each spring i like to overseed that area up there and it just seems to help thicken up the lawn quite a bit and it works out really well we do that every year it doesn't take a lot of seed we hit it kind of quick get everything overseeded and it'll start popping in no time at all like last week for example we had a bunch of rain but we've had i think four nice days in a row with a lot of sunshine the temperatures are rising the grass is really starting to grow now so once the lawn's all uh, patched up and you overseeded it and the grass is starting to grow, you know, like I said, you get these warmer temperatures, it's time to mow. This is the mower that we're going to be using. This is the Xmark 
Laser Z S series. Really, really nice zero turn mower. Uh, this has a Kawasaki engine on it, 60 inch cut. I've only used this mower a total of about five minutes so far. This is going to be the first cut here of the year. We're going to be doing this side of the lawn over here. And what I like to do for that first cut, actually the first couple, is leave it high. You know, it's tempting, you know, because this time of year you have some grass that's growing higher than others. It kind of looks all messed up, you know, and you want to just cut it low and get it all uniform. But what I like to do is leave it high the first couple cuts. And the reason I do that is the taller the grass, the deeper the roots. And the deeper the roots are pulling more moisture up. And I think it just makes a healthier lawn. Uh, so first time in the spring, I like to leave it high. You know, it's tempting. It'll look a lot better if you cut it short the first time. But in my opinion, you're not really doing your lawn any favors. Now, we did a lot of raking and cleanup up by the house up there. Down here, we did not. As you can see, you know, like look at these leaves. You know, bare spots because that's where leaves were at. But that mower will clean this up no problem at all. And what I may do, once I mow this, I'll get most of those leaves out of here in debris. This time here, I'm going to blow everything to the outside. Uh, I like to go back and forth when I can. But for the first couple mowings, I'm going to blow everything into the woods. That'll get this section of lawn cleaned up nice. And then uh, I'll probably overseed this again this section here I haven't done that yet before it rains again and this section of lawn will look really nice this summer all right so let's fire up the uh, laser Z S series here and uh, put it to work look at the seat on this super comfortable really nice I mow probably between my place down at my mom's and my sister's I don't even know I figured it up one time probably four acres something like that and whenever it's growing you know this time of year from now till the end of June it'll be once a week mower but look at that cut that is the first mowing this spring I got a whole bunch more to do but uh, yeah this is a pretty good test right here but those are the five things that I do you know each springtime you know make sure your mower is good to go do that real early especially if you have to take it somewhere because everybody waits till the last minute after we do that you know clean up the entire lawn all the sticks debris leaves anything you can find get it out of the yard then i patch the bare spots after the bare spots overseed everything try to do that at least a couple weeks before it's time to mow for the first time and then that first mowing i like to cut leave it a little bit high uh, and that seems to work best for me some people use fertilizer you know do a spring feeding i normally don't do that around here just for the fact we have pretty good soil and uh, the lawn stays pretty nice. And like I said, this is not a manicured lawn. 
Uh, we don't live in a housing plan, more of a rural area. But uh, yeah, I think it looks really nice. And the method that I use each year seems to keep working. I like the overseeding, I do. It just kind of helps out, thickens it up, helps keep out some of the weeds. Works really well. Well, I think that's about it for today's video. And I want to thank Xmark for sponsoring today's video. And also, there are several links down in the description if you want to check them out on Xmark. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks. This is John from Wilmington, Delaware. Since you enjoyed this last episode of Outdoors with the Morgans, click the like button, share with your friends, comment down below, and subscribe.